All right, let's see what's wrong with today's MacBook. Today's MacBook appears to have an issue with the logic board. And I'll open up this MacBook and see what's going on with it. Just get this little MacBook open. Try to remove the bottom of this without cutting the skin on my fingers. Ow! Cut the skin on my fingers again. Hate this piece of crap MacBook design. And what's going on with you, little MacBook? First thing we're going to do is we're going to unplug the battery. Because the battery's plugged in. If the battery is plugged into the MacBook, then we won't quite be getting the reading we want from our USB-C app meter. I don't want to see how much power the battery is drawing as it charges because that's a variable amount. It's going to be different depending on how charged the battery is. I want to see what the board is taking by itself only. That is the number that I care about. So we're going to plug this into this little USB-C MacBook and see what it takes. This MacBook is drawing 300 milliamps at 5.18 volts. It's not negotiating 20 volts with the charger which means we have an issue with our CD3215s or PP3V3 underscore G3 hot is not present. One way to find out. Let's get this board out of this MacBook and see if we can fix it. The problem with this MacBook is it wasn't negotiating 20 volts with a charger. And when we plug in the charger, you'll see That wasn't now, it's not showing anything at all. Wow. Much sadness. So one charging port doesn't work at all, and the other charging port give, is stuck at 5 volts. So Paul says it was dropped in the charge cable, and then it shorted and broke. If this used a MagSafe for charging, you could drop the machine on the charger and it wouldn't matter, because the charger would become detached from the motherboard. But, oh. We don't have that anymore. Now, do we? In order for the charger to talk to the computer, we need PP3V3 underscore G3 hot so that the CD3215s can do their job. Let's see if they're getting PP3V3 underscore G3 hot. Also, Paul S. is in the chat. Everybody say hi to Paul, who's going to be replacing some MacBook CPUs over the next few weeks. I'm quite excited to start doing MacBook CPU repair. That's going to be fun. We have 2.7 volts at PP3V3 underscore G3 hot. Because this is the port that's not doing anything. So that's going to be the right CD3215 if we look up here. So there's the left one on the bottom. and the, the See, this is the top port. This is the bottom port down here. And when I click here, it goes to that. All right. So first thing we do is remove the bad CD3215. I'm assuming that this is a bad CD3215. I'm not really sure. Mobile fix. I am training Nasera and how to put you out of business. You should be afraid. You should be very afraid. Paul says to check the fuse. Paul, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is a MacBook. Do you think a fuse is not going to work? Are you crazy? Fine. For you. Fuse. Fuse. It's a MacBook. Fuses don't blow on MacBooks. I just interrupted my damn... Grr. Look at a fuse. I remember in some videos you said you didn't like Razer, and I asked why. Because Razer is the apple of PCs. 
Lots of issues with the board. Very expensive. Trust in any of these CD3215s. We're taking new ones. The demand for Gutwick has gone up so much that we're ordering hundreds and hundreds more of them. We can't keep up with the frequency at which people are purchasing Gutwick and Flux. Wonder why. Forgot to wick the pads. Da -da 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 -da. Fuck, I forgot to wick the pads. Da -da 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 -da. It would be great if I finally got a CD3215 repair I could actually bill for. What are you doing? Where the fuck do you think you're going? You stupid chip. You stay in place, you bitch. I should have wicked the damn pads. This is not my night. Not my night. My top port is giving me 5.23 volts, 30 milliamps. That port wasn't working at all before. My bottom port is giving me 5.22 volts and boot looping. And now it's giving me 20 volts at 500 milliamps. Boot. 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 Boot! Show me an Apple logo! Fixed!
yet another dead MacBook. That MacBook was having an issue where we were stuck at five volts on the uh, US we were stuck at five volts on the USB C charger, even though PP three V three underscore G three hot was present. We replaced those C D thirty two fifteens and it worked. Remember folks, C D three two one five A, C D three two one five B, and C D thirty two one five C are not compatible with one another. If you have C D thirty two fifteen B chips, they will not work on a motherboard that has C D thirty two fifteen C chips. And with that, I'm going to have some lentil soup and move on to the next motherboard.